Oh, okay. Really, buds? Yeah, let's look around. Let me do my thing, okay? Alright, whatever, man. Fine. <laughs> Other dramatic much? Tired of freaking CBR talking shit when they don't when they don't actually even watch anime and don't understand what we like Rising of the Shield Hero? Well, yeah, you know, well, you know, it's because they you know, it's because this is just one big old circle jerk. You know, they was like, oh Well, folks, I got my I got some my bro. The yell the the dude. I got my bro with me. Yep, I took a marrow. Let us do what we do best. <sighs> it's a guy that's easy. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Aren't they, like, Shield Hero? Due to the show's conception, the deception lower than dirt. The show's own critical reception and no and for for a good reason sorry gets up for false name and controversy of the me too is that guys no it's not supposed to be taking me too stuff bugsy <laughs> we we what have you got me into i don't know i'm sorry bro Nah, it's okay. We can we can get through this, okay? We can get through this, me and you. All right. Let's fight in Japan. The plot point. The plot point isn't paying for playing for laughs. Freaking, freaking, okay, Mafuli freaking gets destroyed because no one else believes him. And fucking the prince, the princess lied about it because her and her fucking, her and her fucking king father hated the shield hero from the jump. It's not even the, it's not even the current shield hero he hates. He hates the shield hero that was here previously from what I heard. But hey. You know, be idiots. Make your stupid ass topic because yeah, I know you're just getting paid for clicks. You're getting paid for fucking clicks. That's what this is. This ain't even a good article. Let me just, let me just shut up. I'm talking about read. Gotcha. This show has also been accused of supporting slavery. Early on, the protagonist buys slave girls and immediately free freeing her, and instead of immediately freeing her. Now, if only was in a bad place, I'm not saying that slavery, I'm not saying that freaking forgives it, but at the same time, the world treated him like shit, and he wasn't really thinking clearly. Yeah, but these idiots don't get that. These idiots don't get that. And we're not justifying it, it's just he wasn't in a fucking good ass place. He isn't a fucking self-insert incel. What the fucking ah, these bitch, these stupid motherfuckers. The shows yet yeah, again, bug, bug. You want to do it? I will. Unsavory elements as the show itself is a generic isekai show that's poorly done and bought and by. Mafumi constantly, he doesn't fucking constantly win. At the very beginning, he freaking, everybody whoops his ass. The freaking spear hero whoops his ass. Everybody fucking hates him. Because they think he's that, you think, they just think he's the dude that raped the fucking princess. Y'all know what? <laughs> oh, man. I'm, I'm just so fucking angry. Bro, it's C it's CBR, man. Let it go. Let it go, bro. It's not even that important. No, no. I just feel like it's stupid because let me see who wrote this fucking piece of sh shit article. 
Y'all motherfuckers don't even... Timothy... Don who? Don Don who? Don who who? Don who who? <laughs> you wanna... You wanna hit this, Bugsy? Let me explain why it's so popular. Okay, we got these three wing... We got Wingus, Dingus, and Fuckus. I'm not even gonna say their real names because they're all assholes. They they get they get party members, people who love them right off the bat. Mafumi had a mistake of getting of getting close with the princess and having the princess help him, only for her to stab him in the back. And what's worse? Is when the princess is finally called out on it, and they start doing this trial, she habitually lies and keeps on lying. She gets shocked and shocked and shocked and shocked and fucking shocked and shocked and shocked, and she's still lying. She has a deep mental issue. And the show kind of addresses it. Like, the fact that and she was burning down like a she was burning down like a village and a whole bunch of stuff. She's way more darker than the light novel. Like she got issues and she was even gonna kill her own sister just so she can be next on line for the throne. And mother and you know what? If y'all wanna talk about this, the queen is the one that actually holds the shots because she knows her husband and she knows her fucking daughter. See, but why is Shield Hero so good? Let me explain something to you. We have in Isekais, we have characters who constantly fucking win. Kirito, he try he does things without even trying. And a few other people do. The only one that's kind of out of the, out of the link of that is Subaru. Subaru basically fails all the time and rewinds. But he fails. The thing is. The, ta the these guys who would really either these guys would be one of the many protagonists they're not they would be in a normal isekai but the way they set it up no they're kind of just there they hate the shield hero the freaking spear hero is so fucking dumb this man's a college student and he is so fucking dumb I gotta be justice this one this one, oh, watch, watch it. And this one, see, they all thought of it as a game, so they do. So since this is kind of like the game that they all played in their worlds, it's a, it's a little bit of a plot point. It comes up later. They uh, basically, they basically treat everything like a big game. The sword hero, the sword hero, the sword hero basically. Starts, you know, has a dragon, tries to help out this one village, only to bring a fucking gigantic, uh, let's say a, a lot of finance infestation. Uh, these two do some, these two do a whole bunch of shit, and they think it's just a game. They'll treat it as real, because they, in their own minds, are heroes of the story, when they're not. See, the thing is... It's it's an isekai done in a way where the main character isn't getting ev doesn't get everything right off the bat. He gets Raptalia, he gets Philo, and basically at first, after everything that happened to Malfumi, he's like, he's like, you know, I don't deserve it. He's you know, because Raptalia is literally telling him. You know, you saved me, no, I was just using you for slavery. I was just using you. You you know, because that whole situation messed with his head. People thinking that you're people thinking that you did something you know you didn't. And that, this ain't talking this ain't like a this ain't like an R word and this ain't a rape allegory. This is like when you know you did something, when you know you didn't do something, but everybody's insisting that you did, it fucks with your head. 
But idiots like you would never know something like that. Because they live a squeaky clean life with squeaky clean things. It's labeled as an in as an incel fantasy. Incel fantasy, Fuxy. It's not an incel fantasy. It's a dude. And we don't even know like he's not an incel. We know we know a little bit about Mokumi's life, but not a lot. Probably in the probably in the light novel we know a little bit more about it, but it's just Mm. It opens new world readers to an underdog, to an underdog, no name, no artist. This Western cult status. Western cult status. It certainly won't be the last generic isekai. Fuck! <sighs> Can I just. Bugsy. Be my guest. Fuck you, you mother, you lonesome, idiotic piece of piece of dumb moronic filth that probably didn't even watch the fucking show to begin with and didn't even try to think about the characters, the plot, the lore. See, this is why people like me, critics like me, exist. Because you idiots just half ass everything. Oh well, it's I, I gotta I gotta do this fast, so I can't so I can't like watch the watch the freaking show and take in everything about it. Y'all motherfuckers make me sick. Y'all make us y'all make us anime fans look like total fucking total fucking goobers. For what reason? For what purpose? So you guys can look good, bro. Let it let it go. Yeah, but I will say this, you fucking, you guys are just, wow, all I gotta say, Toad Hero is different because we got a character who doesn't win, who is treated like a fucking outcast, and only by doing what he does, he gets the respect. He becomes, he becomes like a merchant, and makes money, while, makes money, and also fixes the other's Wingus and Dingus and Fuckus's mistakes. While these idiots are blissfully unaware that they're doing anything wrong. But oh, this is a generic, this is a generic isekai. This is a generic motherfucking isekai. These idiots, man. You guys are, you know, let me just say something. And I'm not going to insult him or threaten nothing like that. Hey, Timothy, you don't know what you're talking about. Don't throw hate on this man, but this man does not know what the fuck he's talking about. He's a fucking... He probably didn't even watch the show. He just pulled this all together, watching it a little bit, and being like, Oh, well, that's enough. Please, if you're going to do this shit, watch the whole fucking thing. Understand the, understand the scenes. Understand all this shit. And I'm not just saying this as a fan. I'm saying this as a critic. Because at least, at least before I do a review, I see what I'm looking at while you motherfuckers can just sit down and be like, let me just, let me just haphazardly put things together because I don't actually put actual fucking effort. You idiots don't put actual fucking effort in anything that you fucking do. It's always half-assed. That's what hurts me. It's always the same fucking thing. Y'all motherfuckers put something together. Y'all don't even watch the show in question. And then you go, you know, CBR, you know, CBR, get people who actually watch anime. Get people who actually wanted to, like, do this. Who actually were going to watch it and make a fair article. Because all this is just unfair shit for no logical reason just to bash it. Popular for no good reason. Popular because it subverts isekai shit in a way that makes sense. But oh well, that must make me an incel, huh? But let me just tell you one thing. I have a girlfriend, motherfucker. I ain't nowhere near an incel. So I would like to, I'd like to kind of, um... Wonder whose idea 
was to let this man, let this man who probably doesn't even watch Isekai and probably has a deep hatred for it, who let this man on board? It has, because this show has a character you can root for, because we've all been down and out in some way or another. It doesn't have to be like the, you know, the hard R word. And we've also dealt with people who hate us for whatever reason. But that doesn't make you an incel. I've been on YouTube for years. And I always had a steady group of people who hated me. So I kind of understand a little bit of my phobia. Because, like, I get it. And a lot of other people get it, too. That's why it resonates with them. Some people understand what it means to be hated to the extent Nafumi was. Some people understand the kind of shit. But, you know, even though, even though he was stuck in this world, he was still trying to, he found a way to live by being a merchant. And Mafumi actually cares about Raftalia as a daughter. And Philo. And Philo too. Probably has another daughter. But you, but, you know, Timothy, you dropped the ball. Because you're a fucking moron. Who probably just, who probably pushed this out in a night. And just hoped that nobody looked or listened. You know, let me see if anybody, like, fucking commented. No, I don't have comments. <sighs> you know what, though? This deserves the already because it actually tried to do something. While the rest of you... And, look, you know, let's get a second opinion from a... From a true... From a true... From a true champion of actually light... From a true champion that can give anime a fair shake. Good reason. And you know that's going to be a good one with the title. Here's what they say for the catch and don't slip. Which, I mean, there's not a lot of outlets that have uh, criticized Shield Hero. There's been none of, no, no one has criticized Shield Hero. That's the thing. I was actually looking up anybody who criticizes the show, but the consensus is that they like it. This motherfucker's probably like, <laughs> why can I be like, why can I be like my boomy and get? A raccoon girl to slobber my knob like corn on the cob. <laughs> you random work. You know, I don't even care if I get demonetized. I, don't, I, I really don't give a shit. YouTube's kind of a joke anyway. But then, so, I only do it for the... I do it because YouTube used to be my home and I kind of feel obligated. Well, not obligated. It's still my home and I still care about it. But... Yeah, when people pull this kind of bullshit, I'm not going to sit by and pretend and stick my fucking fingers in my ears because this man can't handle a little fucking criticism. I bet you he's one of those people that are like, Dog yard ball at like one. It's really not been a lot, though. Most people enjoyed the show. As the author here even admits, it ranked high on sites like Crunchyroll. Ooh. They then go on to say that it's one of the most popular shows, but still claim that it's one of today's worst anime. And Go suck a yeah, bad cock. Bad anime ad titles about. Hopefully, if you, I'm sure you've done that right? thing, which again is odd to me when they also show this video. For hitting the thumbs up, Lee, if you don't and you're tuning in, well, thanks for being interested in this video anyways, and thanks for hitting the thumbs up button. I'm sure you've done that, right? Here's where it gets good. As I mentioned at the start of this video, they bring up the whole false accusation thing, which again is odd to me when they also claim that now Fumi's a self-insert. Anyways, Here's what they say in this segment. Fittingly, the show's own reputation and critical reception. This wasn't and even about the Me Too movement. These mother... Timothy is just putting it in... Timothy is just putting it in there because, well, he's got to put a buzzword in here somehow. Lower than dirt. We're going to stop right there, though, because if you notice, they actually have reputation and critical reception as a hyperlink. So they're supposed to, you know, back their point up with that hyperlink. They're claiming that the reputation and critical rep perception, excuse me, of the show are lower than dirt. Well, when you click that hyperlink, it just takes you to another CBR article about that time I got reincarnated as a slime, and I don't see anything there that backs that point. Y'all just hate Isekai. 
And y'all don't even give good reasons for it. The one, and it's the same dude too. It's the no, same it's motherfucker. It's ingenuous reporting by CBR, in my opinion. Now, I wanted to point that out. Let's continue. Oh my god, this feels like IGN all over the fuck. It feels like IGN all over again. Um, they say, and for good reason, the story kicking off with the hero being falsely accused was especially controversial, with many seeing it as being at odds with the zeitgeist of the Me Too movement. If It had nothing to do with the Me Too movement, and if you're thinking about the Me Too movement having any kind of relation to this, you're fucking high! You are overthinking uh, one plot point way too hard. Not fully opposing it, which is absolutely not true. The Me Too movement is not perfect, and anyone who actually genuinely supports the Me Too movement, I think, would understand that, no, it's not a perfect thing. It has issues, and if you want it to... And let me just say, it had nothing to do with the Me Too movement, because Japan... Because it's not going on in Japan! It's only a thing that affects us here. <laughs> God fucking damn it, you guys are idiots. Then you have to acknowledge the flaws of the movement itself. Unfortunately, people like the author here fail to do that, and that's in large part... Because he's, a, because he's an idiot that doesn't even really watch the show. He just probably, looked, he probably watched a few episodes and was like, mm, yes, yes, I don't like Isekai, but why do I always take these... Why do I always try to write these Yusukai things if it ain't my cup of tea? I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm a fucking brain-dead individual who's only getting paid to just talk about anime I really don't care about. Which is probably the latter. Which is probably the latter. I'm betting on the latter. Why that movement has fallen apart. I think a better way of looking at it is that the Shield Hero's premise of the false accusation is not anti Me Too. As a matter of fact, it should be looked at as a way of making Me Too more accurate and better because, yeah, false accusations are indeed a thing. They then go on to say this to many Western fans in particular, criticizing the series for its casual misogyny. Um, no, there's nothing misogynistic about a show talking about a false accusation. The chick! The freaking princess is the one that fucking pretends that he had, that she got freaking molested by Mufumi, but no, no, oh my god, it's it's, it's criticizing casual misogyny. Fuck you. Yeah, I'm only looking at freaking here he is videos because I want to hammer home my points. Women are flawless and can do no wrong and would never lie about something. That. Yeah, because women, because all women are created equal, I guess. No one actually thinks that any of them could, you know, do something like this. Actually, there's been a lot of cases where that actually has been the case. Many felt that the confines of a fantasy sekai might not be the best place to handle such a serious topic. And I'm obviously referring to the part where they say that this plot point is played for laughs. It's not played for laughs. It's complete, completely serious. Mafumi is ostracized by the whole fucking kingdom because they listened because they listened to her. And he was just on the edge. He was on the outskirts of the fucking kingdom because that's all he could do. But no we just gonna fucking lie because everybody in current year lies like a motherfucker and they don't try. God dang we're all stuck in our houses but it's good to know that the journals act like fucking morons. You know, journalism used to be an actual, like, an actual respectable career when I was, when I was a kid, when I was, like, a, when, when Bugsy, when good old Bugsy was just a little kid, and just a little boy, playing video games, and really, really marveling at the fact that people make TV shows. You know, it was actually respectable, but you motherfuckers come in, and you're like, eh, let me spit out my rhetoric. Let me spit out my rhetoric. And once I'm not making a joke about a dick, let me spit out my rhetoric. <sighs> they pick someone who basically hates Yuzukai, who basically making up lies because the consensus is that they will that they love it, why would they make another season if no one loved it? Fuck, I talk about freaking animes who, 
that could have a season two, but they never do. Nana in the secret, Nana in the secret treasure room. I could have had a, I could have had a sequel. That only had like one season. I still get mad at that every time because they had stuff that were set up for an actual sequel. I probably would read the manga ending, and I don't really want to talk about it because it keeps getting, it makes me angry whenever I talk about it. See, but I feel like Two Piece's problem is he like either someone was either someone told him to do it, or he just did it and bullshit through it. He's like the equivalent of a kid who gets a paper who who doesn't want to do the uh research the topic. He doesn't want to do an essay on the topic. Because he doesn't really care about it, so he's bullshitting his way to get like an to get like an A plus or a A or an A minus or a B plus. I mean, I, I I don't feel that way at all. I think it was a pretty serious plot point to the show, and it sparked now Fumi's character development. At first, regressing him, and eventually he began to open himself up and trust people once again. I mean, you know, we get going. Bam. The whole deep dive talking about that. But that's a little off the scope of this video, so let's continue. They then go into a segment about the slavery and the exact same settlement who almost risk gay reputation. See, the the characters that are like half beasts, they are treated like slaves. Like any other freaking like any other fantasy world that kinda treats another race like slaves. There's a lot of fantasy there's a lot of fantasy worlds that do that. But this motherfucker's like, oh, well, they had a slave and oh, shut the fuck up. People like you, people like you, Mr. Timothy, are the reason I try so hard to show people that anime, that anime and manga ain't bad. If you get addicted, that's a whole different thing. But it's not a bad, but Shield Hero is not a bad show. If anything, I would say it's one of the, it's one of the, it's actually one of the best isekai, because at least it acts, because at least it tries to do more than, hero wins, he gets all, he gets all the girls, he gets all the women, because we go from a guy who really, who really just gets the short end of the stick, who doesn't have like the best time in the other world, why? The spear hero, the bow hero, and the sword hero have like the greatest time, greatest time ever, because he's not the shield hero. Like I haven't read the light novel, but people have some sort of pretty, pretty much discrimination to the shield hero because of the, the um, have animal people. I can't really remember their names right now. I'm that mad. <sighs> you, you know, but. But, you know, you would know this if you actually took in what you were actually looking at and not acting like a, not acting like a little kid bullshitting your way from a into a fucking essay. While others might even sympathize with the protagonist, this would justify the show's label as an incel. Oh, it's an incel show because we identify with a person who who gets treated bad and basically doesn't have the best shit in life because literally he's been literally the deck was stacked from him from the fucking beginning. Literally. But hey, what the fuck ever? What do I know? I didn't spend years and years watching anime. You know, looking at literary works. Really and really I don't mean to be all up my own ass here, because that's not what I'm trying to say. But at least I can understand what it's doing, and I can I can acknowledge what's going on. While you motherfucker just want to spit your own little thing on. I hate the shield hero. I'm an idiot. And if anybody thinks that this is cringe, fuck you. Because honestly. Because honestly, yeah, this article pissed me off. Like, I was in character doing this, and I, I can't. I broke character just simply because this pissed me off. Well, fantasy. As I mentioned in the slavery segment, it felt like they were just parroting other articles who have had a similar take. 
Because this motherfucker doesn't have an original opinion of his of his own. Kind of reminds me of another person. Kind of reminds me of someone my uh, girlfriend knows. Who doesn't have an original opinion in his goddamn head. And now this is even more evident to me, in my opinion, where they uh, talk about the show being labeled an incel fantasy. That's directly from other people who have coverage the show hating on it. So this person probably read other uh, outlets coverage on this from months ago. Maybe it was a slow day for them. They had nothing to write about today and decided to make this hit piece against Shield Hero because you got to hit your quota of stirring up outrage in the anime community, right? There's so much problematic stuff with anime. It's insane. It's only problematic because people want to look into it deeply, but not deeply at the show and characters, looking deeply at the elements when Japan has a different set of rules than us. But that's not even the case here. It's just one person bullshitting his way into and bullshitting his way out of an article. That's what that's what sucks because you're just basically foregoing any effort to try and understand something. You're literally just saying, yeah, I'm just gonna type whatever whatever like what what a few other people have been saying and I'm just gonna go with it. And then sprinkle it with my own little bullshit opinion that isn't really an opinion. I'm just parroting words from other people. That's what I'm doing. That's how that's how I'm doing shit. Oh my gosh, get over yourself. Seriously. It's so salty at the end of the article too. Nevertheless, the show is much like the punishment hero, hero continues to rise. And it certainly won't be the last generic using a more generality than it deserves. Well, Fuck you! Like, I don't know why you felt the need to attack this show. Maybe because it's an isekai? Maybe it's because, I don't know, you probably had a bad shake in life, and you're like, why does he get all this stuff and I don't? I've seen this happen, man. I've seen this happen more often than not. Just fuck yourself. Please. Please, go fuck yourself. Go, you know, go in the... Go and, uh, I don't know, go fuck yourself. I'll never say, go, go, don't go and commit not alive. But I will always say, go fuck yourself. Because go fuck yourself can mean one thing. Actually, you're going to fuck yourself. Or fuck off. Piss off. Get the fuck out of here. And if any motherfuckers, and if anybody, anybody, freaking... Backs this article, well, you're part of the fucking problem, man. Because I think I, there's a lot of people qualified that could do this article justice. Who can actually rewrite this thing and actually understand why the characters are the way they are. Fucking Nux Taku. Mr. Lord Nuxinor, the man who flexes like a fucking kid, like a fucking champ. Would do this better. Hero he a he writes articles that actually make sense. He could do it better. Any anime any anime reviewer or YouTuber could do this better. Um, a boy Timmy Tim Tim can't do nothing better because he keeps getting shit he hates and not even giving it a fair shake. And that's why I hated about it. Like this is this is not merely someone like opinion on it. This is someone who literally adamantly hates Isekai in all its forms. And is salty about it. And it's salty that people do like the show and call everybody an incel because that's an easy insult. That's an easy insult to say because incel is just another buzzword that people use. Because, you know, you can't even make an actual insult, you repugnant piece of rat shit. Or, you, you pusillanimous fiend that sucks on gasoline. I would say more, but YouTube won't let me get any more fucked up than I already did. So, I leave you with this. Guys, I want you I want you to know. The journal the journalist who wrote this, 
do not attack him. For he has his own problems to deal with. I mean, you, I say don't attack him because let him attack himself and hate himself for whatever reason. Let him do hit. Let him do his own self hate on himself. Do not attack this man, please. I'm begging you. Do not attack. Let this man deal with his stupid shit by himself. Why he whines and moans? Because he's probably he's probably he's probably. I think he's probably just. I think he's projecting a little too much, though. To be honest. <sighs> but you know, a lot of hack reviewers actually do that too. They project when really the review isn't about them. It's about them kind of presenting the show in their own opinion. When this dude is like really showing how much hate and vitriol he has for this show. That's the problem I don't that's the problem I don't like. He's using he's attacking this show simply because, well, he doesn't like Isekai. Again, not the person you would want. But I shall leave you be, everybody. Peace, everybody.